So I thought I'd just show you a little bit of what I have going on behind the scenes here. I am um, getting ready for a show at the end of this month, so I have two weeks and hopefully I can get everything put together that I'd like to put together. Um, right now I'm melting down some lip balms and I actually have um, lip balms that need, I have like three different processes here. In process, I have lip balms that need, that have just been poured and need caps. And then I actually have lip balms that are capped and partially labeled. Not all of them are labeled yet. And I didn't want to put away half of them and not all of them. So um, I need to finish that. I need to update my Etsy shop and things like that. But um, right now I am trying to just restock so that I have product for the show. Um, this is Rosa and this is Plum Blossom and this is Sweet Peach. The coloring doesn't look that great down here in the basement but um, these are all, this is a more plummy color, this is a more red color, and this is a more nude with a, like, a little tinge of pink in it. Um, and then I'm working on Pink Posy and Rosé. Um, I decided to do a little label because sometimes I'm like, these can look similar, and I'm like, wait, which is which? Which is which? I know them all, but still, <laughs> like, I don't want to mislabel them, so I figured I'd write each one down on a little piece of paper this time so that there is no confusion. And then I'm going to also make my rose salve that's been doing really well on Etsy right now so I need to restock that and make some for the this pop-up show that I'm gonna be doing which I will take you on that little journey while I have you down here I thought I'd show you that I have um, started putting my cuticle oils in this little gold box it's not the exact gold box that I want but I was struggling to find um, a different gold and um, then I found it and then they're like we're sold out so um, but you'll find this pen it does fit perfectly in the box and I just thought it would look nice on the display table at shows so um, yeah and then I thought I'd just show you um, that I am making larger um, amounts of my cells. This is a two ounce. I do want to do a one ounce as well, but I'm struggling to find packaging for them right now. So, um, and then I also turned it into just a plain herbal salve as well without um, the color in it. And I'll show you the difference between these two. So here they are. Here is with no color and here is with color. So this color doesn't show up, but I just thought it's pretty and fun. But, um, I wanted to make one that would be uh, appeal more to men or if you wanted to gift it to your husband or something. My husband loves it. It works really well for him. So um, I wanted to just make one with, with no color because he was using this one and I have heard other men using this one and enjoying it. That's the feedback I've gotten and I was like, you know what, I should make one with no color. So. <laughs> They're not like pulling out this uh, vibrantly pink. I mean, it doesn't matter at all, but um, I just thought I'd have that that option available. But um, it is exactly the same formula, just with no color. <laughs> so I realize this isn't the most pleasant um, background. I am again in my basement, um, sitting down to work on sort of a disaster. Um, I've been sharing it on Instagram, but um, Etsy has been deactivating my listings. Like, it feels like one at a time. So far they did four um, at once, and then this morning um, they deactivated another one. Yesterday I had spent a lot of time um, revising the listings, thinking that I was taking out certain words that um, aren't acceptable to them because they sent me an email and it had links to like what what they allow and there was a few words like anti-inflammatory antibiotic antiseptic antiviral which a lot of those words are associated with the herbs I use such as calendula and chamomile and stuff so um, 
I figured I'd go through every listing and make sure those words were out of there, <clears throat> which I did. And maybe I apparently missed it on this one, but missed one of those words, but it was taken down and I thought it was one that I had revised. Or maybe I'd gone in there, revised it, and it didn't save it or something. I'm not sure, but now I'm, I'm really freaking out, quite frankly. And I don't want my whole shop to shut down on me. Um, I don't have my website set up and I know that that is something I really need to work on. I just have not had the time because I work on all of this very, very part time. And um, so when I'm working on it, it's mainly just get, getting orders out, getting the stuff done that needs to get done immediately. I just don't have like that extra time. Um, to work on bigger projects such as setting up my website even though I have one I just um, I don't have it set up to sell so um, so yeah I really gotta work on that but um yeah if you sell like skincare <laughs> products on Etsy like some of the words were anti-inflammatory again antibiotic antiseptic antiviral um, and if you're interested, I can link the link below of where I'm getting that information. Um, it's like their medical claims section of um, their their um, rules. So um, so now I'm just like, man, I have to go in again, and I'm gonna revise all my listings again. Um, I used to list each ingredient and then say sort of like you know the benefits of that ingredient to your skin and I think I'm just gonna delete all of that and just do some sort of real generic description of the product at the beginning because you can't make any sort of medical claims which I'm not making any medical claims but now I just feel very unsure of what is acceptable and what isn't and I have read books I have looked at the FDA and thought that I was following all of the the requirements um, with my descriptions but apparently it's not up to Etsy standards so I'm not sure exactly what their standards are they're not they're not super um, specific and then I got in a chat with um, I did was able to get in a chat and they couldn't help me at all a chat with Etsy they're just like we will email you <laughs> don't know when that will be because I'm like, I revised those listings that were deactivated. How do I get them reactivated? How do I get you guys to relook at them and reactivate them? So um, I know that I could do a little bit more research as far as other sellers' experiences on YouTube and stuff. Or if you've had any experience with this, let me know. Um, but at this point, I just feel like I don't want one listing at a time to be ticked off so I'm just gonna go in and copy and paste and save all my descriptions for my website but then just do some so something really simple and basic for Etsy just so that I'm not getting flagged anymore um, and then maybe I can make a brand new listing for the ones that have be, been deactivated by them because I can't they don't allow you to reactivate them <clears throat> yourself so maybe I will just I don't even know that I could copy the listing I might just have to make a brand new listing for those because some of them were like my best sellers and I had like just been selling them and they'd sold out and I just relisted them and they deactivated them so yeah so this is sort of a rant and I apologize if this is not interesting at all but um this is just like my headspace and where I'm at um, and I, I realize that I, I really do need to get my own website put together um, but yeah we've been under the weather for two weeks my husband is still sick and I still have like a frog in my throat and I'm just like and then just with um, uh, maybe I'll talk about it later um, when I'm working but right now I'm just gonna I'm gonna try to get a little bit done here and then maybe I'll take you in the other room when I'm labeling or something and talk about <clears throat> some other issues but um yeah I, I'm I'm definitely the cup is um, half empty sort of a person so um, I don't want to be real discouraging on here but I definitely look at things 
not always positive in a positive light. Although I must say every decision I've ever made for my Etsy, there have been, um, maybe I should save this for another time too. So I will stop rambling and share that later. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get some work done right now. All right. So I'm actually, um, under my basement stairs now. <laughs> I'm going to change it up and label some of my lip balms because as I was starting to say earlier, I have chronic nerve pain on my left, my right arm. And so sitting at the desk is just, um, I did get a standing desk, but it's just still like using the mouse and um, doing like detailed work constantly um, on the computer just aggravates it so I can already tell that it's getting aggravated and I'm trying to keep it under control because I know so how much work I need to do um, and this is where I'm like do I just put my shop on vacation mode I'm I might or I might just deactivate some of my own listings so that I still have control over them is what I'm hoping until I get around to revising the, the listing descriptions I'm just sort of at a loss and trying to just, you know, come up with a plan <laughs> as I go. Um, and I'm also sort of putting it on the back burner because I'm like, I don't know exactly what to do. I'm just, I'm very discouraged today and um, just because my arm's acting up and all that. So on top of it and knowing that I need to get ready for this pop up getting over being sick, um, my husband being in bed, my girls needing care, uh, there's a lot going on. So I'm just gonna label for a little bit, take a break, and then um, try to get back to it at the computer. Um, I may even just go for a walk or lay down for a little bit and see if, if the pain subsides a little bit so that I can go back for feeling fresher um, to the computer but yeah I was hoping my husband was gonna help me and um, he's in bed sick so um, yeah this is uh, it's not going exactly the way I wanted it to but if the worst comes to worst and I need to just put it on vacation mode or just deactivate all my listings for the day until I can slowly get to each one at a time like reactivate it with a new description that might be the way I go so that I just don't feel so overwhelmed to do all of them at once and be like, I got to figure this out now because I think that's what's kind of dragging me down is like, oh my gosh, I got to fix every single one of my listings and I have like over 30, 30 plus listings or something. So um, it's just, it's overwhelming <laughs> at the moment. Um, so I'll stop rambling. I'm going to do some labeling and I will take you along for that. So I'm just um, preparing for this pop-up and so I need to put shrink wrap on all my lip balms. I did all of my larger products already but um, now I gotta do all of these lip balms <laughs> and I have a lot more besides that. Um, do I think I'm gonna sell all these? No, but 
it, it's nice to just have them prepared anyways, and then they're ready for my Etsy shop as well. Although on Etsy, I don't always sell them shrink-wrapped because it's just one less step I have to do, and I don't think it's necessary, uh, necessarily necessary. <laughs> um, so, so yeah, that's what I'm working on now, and then um, later I'll show you my, my setup as well. I just wanted to show you um, what I'm working on at the moment. I am putting together some like connection cards for any orders for um, this pop-up I'm doing this weekend and I just am really happy with how these turned out. I just used photos, actually these two my sister took, um, but I just tried to do some spring photos because I just feel like then um, it's just not something that they'll toss in the garbage that maybe they'll hold on to it as like a bookmark or just put it on their um, fridge or something like that. I just tried to make it um, maybe have a multi-purpose use and that um, they'd hold on to it versus like a business card. I don't usually keep business cards, but I felt like this is cute and I had good feedback on these in the past. so. I'm just cutting some here at 10 o'clock at night, trying to get this done because I don't have much time to finish all of this, but we're going to get it done. All right, so I thought I'd show you a little bit of behind the scenes. I am trying to put together my table for this pop-up I'm doing, and um, I'm struggling. <laughs> I'm in my basement, so I apologize, but... Um, yeah, I'm struggling to get everything on there, and I really tried to, like, take out some of my products so I didn't have so much, and I still have too much. <laughs> so, um, yeah, like, I just don't have, like, enough room for, like, a, the sign-up form and all the stuff I want to have. Um, I really need to have um, the lip balms out to sample, um... I allow people to just swatch it on the back of their hands, which reminds me, I need wipes. I need to remember to pack wipes. <laughs> um, and then I'm trying to introduce my tea. So um, my husband was like, you should have it out to sample and we'll, we'll do a cold version of it. But um, I was going to have this with some cups and I did want to have, I have three gift boxes I did want to have those out because I thought for Mother's Day people might be interested in grabbing a gift box. Um, but I'm not sure how those will do. I, I'm not sure how anything will do. And then these are all supposed to be lip balms. I put them each in like a little um, tray like this, each color. And then I usually sort them by like my oranges, my pinks, my reds or berries. So I can direct people to... Um, like what color family they would like. Um, so yeah, sorry, it's a little chaotic. Um, and I'm just struggling to fit everything on there. I really want my cuticle pens, which I just think turned out so nice. And I would like that, um, you know, displayed like out here um, where you would see it. So I have to somehow get that out on the table. Um, because things kind of get hidden on that lower shelf. We usually just fill it with like filler, like flowers or something. Um, and then like kind of like in between, put some flowers to just fill in those little spaces. But um, yeah, I'll show you how it all ends up coming together. My husband really helps me with this stuff. So um, I know that he'll, he'll help me, you know, to finish putting it all together. But um, yeah, <laughs> I need some help. Just chilling out. It's really fun. It's a nice, relaxing show. Yeah.